In this video, I'll show you how to download Kali Linux on Windows 11. We are going to use a software called VirtualBox and you will be able to run both Kali Linux and Windows 11 on the same device. As you can see, I'm on Windows 11 and I'm running Kali Linux. Before we continue with the video, I want to make an announcement about Kisfan. Here you can buy everything you need from games and softwares to Windows keys. They have been on the market for many years and they have the fastest service out there. If you want to activate your Windows, you can do it now for as low as $7 because they are offering 50% off on all their products. The links will be in the video description, you can go and check them out. So let's get started. The first step that you're going to make is to open your favorite browser and you're going to search for VirtualBox. You're going to click on the first search result or you can find the link of this website in the video description. Here we have VirtualBox. Uh, VirtualBox is a virtualization software and you can use it to run different operating systems inside of your computer. Like you can have Windows 11 and you can run Linux or Windows 10 inside of one computer. So here we have the latest version and you're going to click on download it. If you don't know how to install it and uh, how to set it up, I will leave video link in the description or you can click the pop-up banner here. You're going to click on download and you can follow the video for more. Then after clicking on download, you are going to click on Windows host if you are on a Windows or uh, OS X host or if you are on a Mac. Click on Windows host and uh, it will start downloading. For me, it's already downloaded, so I don't need to download it. You can follow the video to proceed with the installation. It is easy. So let's continue with the next step. Open a new tab. And here we are going to search for Kali Linux. Kali Linux. And we are going to the official uh, kalilinux.org. Or you can find the link of this website in the description again. So here we have different versions of Kali Linux. And... Uh, we have the Kali Linux for virtual machines, which is recommended, and you are going to click on this again. You are going to click here on virtual machines, and it will take you down. Okay, so here we have Kali Linux for VMware, which is a different software, same as VirtualBox, but I think VirtualBox is better. So you are going to click and download the VirtualBox 64-bit version. If you have uh, a 32-bit, you're going to look for a different version. You can comment down below if you need help. So here, click on this download button. As you can see, it's four gigabytes. So we are going to wait for it to download. So now after the Kali Linux file is downloaded, you are going to click on it and uh, it will take you to the virtual box if you had already downloaded it. So here we have this window that will pop up and you're going to click on import. Click on agree and then it will start importing the Kali Linux operating system. Wait for it to be completed. After the import is completed, here you will have the operating system of Kali Linux, the latest version that you downloaded. And now you can start it. So now I will click on start. So here we are at the startup menu. It will power up Kali Linux. So now we are at the password window. Now we need to enter the username, which is Kali. And the password is Kali2. This exact same word then click on login so here we are on kali so to make this full screen click on view and you're going to the full screen mode click on switch and this will make it full screen so here we you can open a new terminal and you can start coding or anything else so to egg you're going to click on this button right up here and you're going to click on shut down and this will shut down the Kali Linux. So this was the video for today. Hope it helped you. And uh, if you need any help or you have any question, you can leave a comment down below and uh, I will do my best to help you. Also, you can join the Discord server. I will put a link down below and there you can find support and help. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so I can catch you on the next video. Peace out.